Marina! Rosie yeah. was formatted by drag queens. When you found out that Gamit is Pachukang, pulled his ears, slapped <laughs> his back. Wow, very shook. Uh. You've managed to be a silver medalist in the SEA Games as a fencer. <laughs> that was, that's crazy, yeah. Uh, my biggest fear in life was to lose my amma. You know? I don't think anybody loves me. I don't have no reason to leave. I'm going to die with her. So today we have with us Singaporean actress, host, comedian, producer, entrepreneur, and motivational speaker, best known for her role portraying Rosie Poir on the Singaporean sitcom Poir Chu Kang PT LTD. Welcome to the show, Marina! <laughs> yeah. I almost say welcome to the show, Rosie. <laughs> I know, after you all spend so much time with my on screen husband. Uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's why now you all cannot sh shed, uh, shed the image of Yeah, PCK. after we released Gummit's episode, so then a lot of people also comment, why, why never ask Rosie? Why never we ask always Rosie? get that one. If you do one commercial, like the, 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 the public messaging one, people uh -huh. like, oh, how come to have Rosie one? Yeah. That's why yeah. the yeah. last vaccine one, they like, okay, la, okay, la, like give you both, like give you both. Yeah. <laughs> so but you're very expensive, la, is it? No, he is the expensive one. So after, <laughs> yeah. after that, they give the budget, then they- Not enough really. <laughs> <laughs> We want you, but uh, can you take 10% of yeah, the right, budget? Right, right. Wow. Okay, la. Yeah. But the whole story of how you actually got the role of Rosie is actually quite interesting because previously you were a crowd warmer. Yeah, uh, a professional name called Wabi. I'm the Singapore's Wabi. first Wabi. W-U-B-B-I-E. Wabi. Yeah, which, 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 which translates to the warm-up body. Oh. Yeah. It, is a, it is a professional uh, a person in all the sitcoms or live shows. Right. They tell the audience what to do. Sometimes they carry the board to say laugh, yeah, cheer, yeah, yeah, cry yeah, now. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, then the head of uh, the Channel 5 uh, sitcom, Andrea Teo, she approached me one day. Uh, and would you like to come and warm up my people? Because she saw me hosting at um, uh, Action for AIDS uh, event, charity right. event. So okay. I was a volunteer then. Okay. So I was hosting and she thought I was quite funny. I could work the crowd without, uh, like naturally. Yeah. And she's like, I need somebody like that. Then I say, what do I do? She said, oh, you know, like when we film under one roof, right? The shoot is actually three, four hours, five hours. Mm. But when you watch the show, it's only 30 minutes. Because mm. you have to do a certain take. And then the actors have to go and change costume for day two, day mm. three. Mm. So then those things take about 10, 15 minutes. You mm. come in at the minute. So the minute you hear cut, is your you, you start work. Uh -huh. right. You hear action, you stop work. Also, it's not just telling people when to clap, but you need to entertain and keep everybody's entertain, energy level yeah, high. They will give me like prizes or, or potato chips. I will quiz like, oh, just now the, the dinner, right? Uh, Dolly carried the chicken wing. How many chicken wings were there? I so fun. Yeah, I was wobbling for two, three years really. And then they said, oh, uh, we, we're going to start a new sitcom and we're auditioning. Then I said, oh, okay then. So I thought I was going to audition for the workers. Because I never thought I'm going to be an actress, right? I was very really enjoy, And then they said, um, no, no, no. Uh, uh, they give me the screen. They said, oh, you, they circle the Rosie. Then they say, okay, you can memorize all this. The next day I went there, I went, I cannot memorize that. In school, I tell you how many times really. I'm very bad academically one. Mm. You know, I feel anything that needs memorizing one. <laughs> then they, uh, since you're here already, okay, okay. Then the, the, the director then was uh, this Amor guy called Colin. He knows Chinese. Huh? He said, Pion Ting la, uh, ni lai lao chu chua la. Then he stand there. Then he, so he give me scenarios. No, I didn't know it's called improv. Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> then he give me scenarios. Lah. Oh, I come home drunk. Now you scold me. Okay, now you want to cheat me of money to go mahjong. Or oh, slim yeah. rap. Uh, <laughs> how? Slim rap. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> no, Rosie's number one favorite thing. Really like <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so I do all that. Then I just start doing a favor. Then I also read for the workers role. Right. Uh -huh. So I was thinking, oh yeah, the workers quite fun now nah, because you like wear like jumper, then you can yeah. uh, renovate house or- <laughs> Oh, so like the King Kong. Uh, like the, uh, yeah, King okay, Kong okay, and Abun's okay, role. Okay. And then Andrew called me. Uh, I heard, uh, I saw your audition tip. Uh. It's, wow, her uh, voice so deep. Yeah, 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 even deeper. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, Andre. Uh, yeah, I, I got good news and bad news for you. Uh. Then I say, uh, give me the bad news first. Oh, bad news is start next week. Uh. Oh. Oh, then, then, then what, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is the good news then? Oh, good news is you got a part. Uh. <laughs> Going for the imaging, it was so scary because 
I go in like that, like that, you know, like normal. And then I come out like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but but the, the, the strange thing happened is the minute they put on everything, right? It's like I'm possessed by Rosie. Right. My mm, movement, yeah, everything. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, it really is like that. The energy just comes out. And even if I'm not filming, I'm walking from the makeup unit to to the <laughs> studio, right? I am in character. <laughs> right. oh. I am in character. Right. It's just that people talk to me yeah. like, hey, Rosie, good morning. Good morning, I hate ah. Morning, <laughs> morning, very good, man. <laughs> were you there because you were trying to get into acting? Never. So- I, like I told you, I, I, I never once think I want to be an actress. Yeah. So in school, uh, my full-time job is CCA, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm very good in CCA, but in those days, you don't have sports school. Ma. Any sports, <laughs> not enough girls, uh, they were, hey, hey, can you do the canoeing club? Uh? Yeah. Hey, can you join the basketball team? Uh? Just just for this competition, just to be the extra, the reserve also can, mm-hmm. you know? Right. So yeah, but my real, my, my, my mirror is water polo, lifeguard, uh, oh, debates, so NPCC. Uh, That's only five days a week. How, uh, yeah, yeah, so every day I'm there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> every day she's at a different club. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, different club every day. Mm. And no, I was a student counselor because in year one, I was, okay, so every assembly, right, they put mic in the middle of the students sitting there and the stage, right? Then the principal talk, 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 the discipline master talk, talk, talk. Then we had a mic there for the student to go and ask questions, yeah. la, you know? Okay. Then I, every assembly is paper pass paper to me. Nah. <laughs> like, like from people I don't know one. Hey, Irene, can you ask them this, 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 this? So in school already, I quite quite well known because I'm the people's voice. Yeah. 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 Until uh, the principal called me up. Yeah, too, she called me into office. She said, I think uh, it's better you become a student counselor because uh, if we can't beat you, we better have you join us. Oh. <laughs> that I like. Mm-hmm. Promotion. Yeah. Not promotion to me. To me, that's a sell out. Okay, I feel very. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. nobody want to now. be the people's people, ma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now he's an enforcer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Union leader become minister. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God we have tripartism. Slip that in NTUC. NTUC, we are all for tripartism. So if yeah. we backtrack a bit to ah. like just now, John asked, did you always want to be an actress, right? I actually yeah. heard that there was a story from when you were in school ah. and then you were sleeping. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mrs. Jenny's Po. Oh. <laughs> so, oh. My, oh. Form, oh. my <laughs> form teacher. Mm. So um, I would go and swim in the morning uh, before 7.30. At 7.30, go, uh, go to assembly, then uh, go back to class. I will sleep until recess. Ah. Mm. So one day, you <laughs> 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 made it right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got, got, got you some- You were a actress. Xiao Chong Ming, Xiao Chong Ming. I got street smart, street, street smart. <laughs> then after that, um, she will always knock on my table. And then, then she said, Irene, but then I'm awake again after after school finish. So <laughs> one o'clock finish. I will, I'm awake again because the CCA start, ma, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this Irene, I think uh, you're going to be actress uh, because she saw me rehearse. Because she saw me rehearsing like teacher's day, speech day, I will be rehearsing. I'm the one like, Friday is the, the competition for the inter-class drama. Monday, then they tell me deadline, then I will go and write a script, then pull all the people, then nobody want to act, I will act all the parts. I will make my <laughs> own costume, give it to them. And then she's like, oh, you know, I think she could be an actress because um, it seems like your calling is that direction because you you in class, you are sleeping all the way. <laughs> then the whole class laugh eh. Because then one boy, because my, my class is all the water polo boys one. Mm. Uh, then the boy's like, yeah, uh, uh, Mrs. Po, the, to be an actress, you need to be pretty. Then they laugh again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it's okay, I never feel hurt. Oh. Oh, thank God, I very thick skin from young time. Right. Then I also laugh also. I say, yellow, yellow, hey, yeah, this is Mrs. Po. Ah. <laughs> 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 then one day, she came to the PCK recording oh. then she, with the doctors and all she, Hi, Irene, remember? Oh I used to say you should be an actress. Oh, I was right. <laughs> she, came she came out of it. Yeah. 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 I told yeah. you so. Yeah. Vindication. <laughs> no, but she's always been very loving to me. Like, <laughs> right, right, right. Like, even yeah. though I'm very twee, right? You know, she's very patient with me and, and we're still in touch. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, but then after you left school, what? Where did you go? After I left school, I was quite sad because my gang, you know, in school you all got your gang, right? My, my gang oh. all like go and further their my studies. Friends. Oh, you were like, in your gang? Uh, oh. <laughs> not the kind of gang, my group lah, my oh, TMA, you yeah, know? Okay, yeah. okay, got it, got it, got it. Uh, my gang did not follow it. They did not follow their uh, studies. Uh, so they all like, like go university or whatever. Then I was thinking to myself like, hey, you know, uh, I cannot study. Right? So even if I, so I take 
I take A level three times, fail three times. Like, that's my glory, la, okay? Right. I'm very proud that I was very persistent. I took three times. Right, mm. right, but right, right. I had to give up after that because it really doesn't work, la, okay? Yeah. But I pick up everything else very fast. Mm. Like, I go at wakeboarding with me uh, three times, then the wakeboarding instructor asked me, hey, you want to do a joint competition? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love fencing, uh, fence, fence, fence. Uh, oh, you know. So, like, I, 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 I- We have to go back to that later. Yeah. I am the kind of person that, if I like something, I pick up very fast. If oh, I don't right. like something, you like now, now as a business owner, my accountant, to my accountant, I'm the biggest nightmare because they will repeat and repeat and repeat the expenses, the amortization to yeah. me. Like for 25 years, I will still ask the same question every financial, <laughs> <laughs> every AGM. They're like, uh, Miss Ang, um, actually last year and the year before and, and that time five years ago, we also got explained to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, when so I block, I'm good block good. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but like if you, I'm, boss. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but no, the reason why I'm, on, I'm entrepreneur is I work for anybody, I think I fired you already. Yeah. <laughs> and I told myself, if my friends do all go university and I didn't go university, all I have to do is when they come out from university, I get paid more than them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then okay. I am equal with them. Yeah. So I work very hard long. Mm. You, you <laughs> mentioned about like, you used to do water sports for CCA, CCA but mm. for some reason, you've managed to be a silver medalist in the SEA Games as a fencer. <laughs> no, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That is crazy. How did you even like, how, like was it just three tries of fencing and then suddenly you go for no, competition? No, no, no. I, I, I started putting on weight after after I, I started working. Right. Okay, I was working at American Express, sell credit card one, then got a lot of entertainment, eat mm. a lot, drink a lot. Okay, the drink a lot is not because of the job. Okay, it's on sale lah, okay. Then, then, then there's Zook. Zook opened in 1991, you know. Uh, yeah, you are the first customer. Uh, uh, no, I'm 72. Uh -oh. uh, I, my Zook membership card is 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 72. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, during that time, I was, I was very poor lah, you know. So, 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 um, and I, and, and I've been swimming my whole life and couldn't even get to national youth. Right. You know? Got so, try out. Uh, got, got try but failed. Mm. One of my friends from NPCC one, I, then <laughs> I said, hey, what are you doing? Uh? Because, because I cadet inspector, okay? Then we all got gathering wow. one. Uh, yeah. I said, hey, what are you doing nowadays? Uh? Then she said, oh, recently I picked up fencing uh, because they need a girl's team and she was working in Safra. Then I said, wow, fencing sounds very fun. They look very very nice looking at yeah. uh, the uniform. Then she said, come and watch. La. So I went to watch. Then after that, the coach was very nice, asked me want to join. Then I said, I'm not in the army, ma. I'm not Safra, right? Mm. Uh, then he said, oh, no need one because this one is not like army, army, yeah, yeah. the Safra team. So I said, okay, I try lah. So I try lah. Then I tell you, uh, I never met a sport so polite before. Before you go and hit the person, you must ask permission first. Before you start fighting, you must say, come, let's fight. Then you must salute the audience. You must say, come, let's fight. No, no, you, you uh, signal. Uh, like, you, oh. you signal, you, so you signal like, uh, let's say she's my, my she's, she's the audience, then the empire, uh, then my yeah. opponent. Yeah. You must go and salute everybody. Then, then the, when you want to hit, you must say, excuse me, I want to hit you. Yeah. you know? That's a lot of rules. Then I'm like, wow, this game is very gentlemanly. Yeah. I was also bewildered by also the costume. Plus then the time got Zoro, all this, all this <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Important, important. Culturally relevant. Yeah, culturally yeah. relevant. Yeah. Then I was thinking, wow, it's quite sad, la, right? Uh, so, sad, so, la, the mask alone, I want to join already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Plus that time I pull a lot of weight, I thought like, because when they take off the the, the, the jacket, right? Inside got like tank top, right? And they take off the mask, they were sweating like mad. Then yeah. I said, hey, this one can sweat a lot. Like, <laughs> like, like, like sauna. Then my friend, yeah, every time oh, I finish 15 minutes only, wow, my whole body sweat already. Yeah, right. I thought, hey, this is a good idea to lose weight. <laughs> So I joined now. So actually I took basic foundation for six months before I actually get to fight with anybody. Right, which is you normal lah. Maybe his style or what, I don't know <laughs> lah. I actually you, got love fencing yeah. before. Wow. Ah. You want fire, you want fire? Yeah, let's try now. We got a stick. No, but so how do you get from that six months right to suddenly representing Singapore yeah, why to suddenly the CD everything is very Everything is very fast. I will tell you then. That's after the six months. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After the six months, we start fighting already. Then it's different already. Then you have to choose the sword. Yeah. Uh -huh. And because I am not so good at the poking one, my coach chose for me the epi. Oh. Uh, then Sabre is the whole body. That's the Zoro one. Yeah, yeah. I was very disappointed because I thought I was going to be Zoro, right? Yeah. Then after that, the sword, I do cannot cap people one. Uh -huh. yeah. I think sometimes the housewives and the mothers will be very good at Sabre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See him yeah. 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 So anyways, like, so I, but, and it's also the heaviest sword. Oh. It's so bloody heavy, right? 
Go for the weight loss. Yeah. We should go for the weight loss. Yeah. Yeah. Especially so she got one arm that's very strong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My right arm is very strong. So so after that, um, I also don't know. Everything is a blur to me, you know. I just remember that I just keep joining different competitions. And then suddenly I bring back some medal. Then after that, next thing I know, I go for selection squad. Two years later, um, I was in SEA Games already. Yeah. I like, I swim for 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> I love swimming so much. <laughs> I feel like betray swimming, yeah. you know? I learned that sometimes in life is fate, no? <laughs> yeah, then, then the best part is go to go to Philippines, Manila, Sea Games. Then after that got approached by the chief umpire the from France to say, would you want to go back to France with me and, you know, offer you a, a scholarship? Wow. Then that time got all this China bright uh, going oh, on, right? Yeah. So I think, is it he want to go and sell me? <laughs> <laughs> is it he want to sell me away? And he was at the time number four or number three in the world. Whoa. Yeah. Then I asked him, I, I remember asking him, let's not do internet, don't have handphone. Ma. I asking him uh, after the competition, I was like, then where am I going to stay? You know, I have never been to France and, and I was only 21 years old, you know, young mm. virgin girl, yeah. So, and quite pretty, you know, I slim, <laughs> but then slim already, my heart. Right? <laughs> <laughs> then he said, oh no, you can stay in my house and, oh, oh, and oh, teach oh, in my school. I was like, is he going to me, you yeah. know, that, that's all these crazy ideas, lah. Not yeah. that crazy, yeah. lah. To be honest, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Reasonable. <laughs> reasonable, reasonable, yeah, reasonable, yeah. Yeah. reasonable, right? Yeah. yeah. No, lah. You don't. Yeah. Know, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Know, then you know, then, you then the most important part is because I was brought up by my ama and she was starting to fall sick, right? A lot oh. of sickness. Mm. Then I just tell myself, like, I cannot, I cannot leave her alone. If I go there for two, three years, then if I come back, then what happened to her? You know. Yeah. But I'm quite curious, right? Because. So to give a bit of background context, the person that she beat to get the silver medal was the reigning champion mm. of the <laughs> wow. at what that the time. Heck? And then also, so she made the Olympic selection squad, mm. right? And then you essentially gave that up to spend more time with your grandma. So mm. did mm. you ever feel like you regretted that decision? Mm. I wasn't, okay. So Olympic wasn't a guaranteed thing. You, mm. you still have to go and, you know. Yeah. So they observe uh, you select. after you correct, make the selection correct. squad. Correct. So you have to observe. So to me, it was a lot of effort. Plus, I was really quite upset that I had still I I want something for the country. I had still to pay for my equipment. Yeah. Um, oh. But the oh. seniors never win prize one. Right? Go, go, go. So we got cash prize. But by the time we divide amongst the girls' team and then and then pay for the thing, I still owe money. Oh. Right. Oh. Yeah. So then when Olympics came, I was like, how much is Olympics? I think the Olympics was almost ten thousand. We have to come out. And I thought it was not right. Yeah. But. I wouldn't mention the sports here, but some other sports are more wealthy mm. and they get a lot more attention. And the, I remembered in 1991 when we won, I was quite upset because we won so many medals compared to some other competitions. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we always did. We always did. We always brought back medals. Fencing mm. was, yet there was not even one report, one reporter at our event. Right. We were just part of the, oh, fencing won two silver, two, yeah. two bronze oh, and one gold. Like a side but we, brought, we won five medals. Yeah, uh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then the other got a lot of people, got camera go there, media call go there. They like don't win anything. Mm. Yeah, mm. because they were more popular. Yeah. yeah. So for mm. me, it was like, at that point of time, the a, a career, a full-time career in fencing was not a viable uh, career choice. Oh. That, in, in some sense, from time to time, there are a small regret because I often wonder like if I had gone to France uh, or if I've gone Olympics or if I've gone uh, ASEAN Games, what would my life be? You know, mm. and, and like, like I feel like the only regret is not because of whether I win. Or, I haven't fully expounded my, yeah. my, potential. my potential. Like yeah. I don't know where I could have gone to with mm. fencing, mm -hmm. you know, but, but, but I mean, life has its, has his plan, uh, you know. God has his other plan for me. Like I didn't even want to be actress. I also become actress. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I, I really want to thank my fans, uh, my my teammates from 1991 Sea Games, uh, Ahio, Roland, uh, James, and all that, because because of their passion for for fencing, right? Some of them even quit their real job, like their accountant, army officer. They started fencing and they pushed for right. fencing. And wow. today you see those Olympians were from their schools. So they, they wow. now all own fencing schools. They had the vision and they were very certain they're going to make fencing big, yeah. mm. you know? And then they even created world junior champions and all that. So I'm very proud of them. We're still in touch. Mm. We're very good friends. <laughs> but it, it, it is it is my dream to go back to fencing like when I retire Ooh. to just do le leisurely. Mm. La, you know? Because yeah. it's, a, it's a very respectable sport. 
And the stance is also very graceful, like a ballet. So I always describe fencing as the combination of chess and ballet. Many of my foundation from fly or when I start business was from fencing. You need to know when to retreat, mm. when to attack, okay, when to stay mm. still. Wow. It's the same for business. Sometimes mm. opportunity comes, you shouldn't think so much, you should just uh, mm. invest. Yeah. Sometimes everybody go and invest, like very long time, maybe you stay still. Uh, yeah. So right. after that, you were doing sales and then after you shifted to doing insurance for quite a few years. Mm. And then uh, at the time, you mentioned in another interview that at the time that your grandma was hospitalized, you actually totally stopped working to take care of her for quite a long period of time. Okay, I, I want to say something that um, it's not because I'm so weita, I stopped mm. working. Oh. Uh, okay, I had, um, I would call, I would, what I would call a wayward lifestyle because after I became very successful in insurance, I became very self um, centered and I was very proud that I can do it so easily. My boss always say, well, people take like one whole year to plan their MDRT, mm. you know, and then you you relax, relax, lepat, lepat, party, party, zoo, 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 then do no one. Then suddenly you wake up in August and oh, I, I, I need to do this. And I would take four months to do what people take one year to do. Mm. So my problem is I know my talents, but because of my talent, it's so become my weakness, mm. right? right? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that I'm very weita because when I was very successful, I didn't keep to my promise to my ama to bring her back to China, you know, right. to spend time with her because she brought me up. And then I started partying a lot. You know, I party, 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 party. So the lifestyle, the, my, my time switch, like I wake up in the evening, go dinner, and then the insurance part came in. I'm the only one that, work on flexi time. So I volunteer to take the night shift. Right. So the night shift is like when all my aunties, they all come during evening after work, come and see the ama already. Then they all go, then I take the 11 to six lah, because we just have to take time to mm. be there. I remembered that I was very poor and because I spent a lot of money on all the credit card, I still, I almost, I got a lawyer's letter, which I recently moved house and found that letter wow. <laughs> uh, from the legal letter and I'm going to keep that for life as well as attempting suicide because thinking I cannot pay at $26,000 at 25 years old. I went to see my boss, David, yeah. and then he's, I told him, say, okay, you know, my ama is going to die. I'm going to hospital every night, so I cannot attend the meetings. And uh, just to let you know, if he dies, she dies, I don't think anybody loves me. I don't have no reason to leave. I'm going to oh die gosh. with her. Yeah, and I say it very like matter of factly, you know. Yeah. Mm. And then he's like, okay, uh, meet me in the office tomorrow. Then the next day he said, bring all your bills. Then he wrote a letter to me. Hey, he, he wrote, uh, check, now, check. yeah. No, he called He called his PA, uh, his secretary. Lily, bring my checkbook. Then Lily bring checkbook. Then give me 30,000. Then wow. I said, hey, salah, salah, salah. More than you needed, yeah. yeah. I said, why you give me 4,000 more? He said, I want you, August, uh, August, September, October, November. August, September, October, November. I want you, to not worry about petrol, food. So $1,000 oh. per month, mm. four months, 26,000. And I want you to see 10 people every day for your mm. insurance. Then I was like, oh, quite easy. Ah. That, so I said, okay, I will do that. And then like, after your ama, right, you go home, right? Instead of waking up at, at five, you wake up by 11.30 or 12. You quickly go back and then you start your appointment from lunchtime, mm. all the way to dinner and to at night, mm. okay? So I can have two or three lunch or the dinner appointments uh, in a day. And then I'll travel anywhere in the world because, because he gave me a lifeline, yeah, yeah. right? And I told him, say, I would definitely pay you back. But later on, I found out because he told me this, he said, because he just got promoted uh, to manager. And he said, I needed, without you, I don't think I can win the top new manager. Mm -hmm. So he turned it around like he needs me, you know? Mm -hmm. But actually he's helping me. What mm -hmm. boss? Yeah, yeah. Then he said, this is the deal, he told me. This is the deal. I give you this 30,000, you got to pay me by December. I said, how am I going to pay you back by December? This August, you know. Mm, yeah. He's, then he calculated for me. If you see 10 people, you will uh, average, you get this. Your closing rate is this. Da, 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 da. So I think you can pay me back this 26,000 in December, your commission. Mm. So I was like, oh, okay. That, uh, desperate, no other choice. Quite quiet, love him a lot, respect him a lot. Boss say like that, then do lah. Mm. So actually, contrary popular, I can work for people, yeah. Not thinking that. But I you upfront check. I work, then you pay me. Pay me first, I will work very well for you. Okay, so now I know already. If anybody want to hire me, like you pay me, then I will 
No, I will deliver double, okay? Okay, okay. okay. Mm. Then after that, so I just listen to him, see 10 people and then uh, cut short my time and then uh, like drop all my friends. Then we would never party. I still remember 1996, December, uh, November 28, I think, or 27. Wow. I submitted, I've not been to Zook for <laughs> August, uh, August, four months, you know? Wow. So I thought I deserve a drink, right? Yes. At wine bar, right? So I <laughs> cheer my friend and I'll go to wine bar. I said, I need a drink because I've been so busy. I've been looking after my mama and trying to clear the insurance. Yeah. Then when I drove there, I sit down, I order my Long Island tea. Ah. Wow, my auntie called already. Mm. Then say, my ama is cannot already. Oh. You know, it's, I think uh, God and ama really love me. Eh. Mm. Like if she were to be gone like one month ago, or one week ago, I don't think I can hit what yeah. I promised David. Yeah. So I went to, I drove to her, uh, she gave the last breath and she looked at me and she nodded her head and she smiled and she passed on. Wow. When she passed away, I was very angry myself uh, because I, I promised her a lot of things. Plus one or two years before that, I couldn't pay for my car. And then she lent me $500, mm. which I thought I would pay her. Then I got busy, then I forgot. Then when she died, I still owe her $500. Mm. Then I got angry myself, mm. like, wow, well, you're a fucker man, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and and you you claim to be to love her and be filial and all this. You never even keep your promises to her. Her whole funeral, I was very upset with myself. I cannot cry. Mm. Yeah, it's so difficult. Why cannot cry? I just don't know, angry and you cannot cry. Oh, right, right. I was very, very lucky because I, I then simultaneously was praying. La, and, I, and also, of course, after I became successful, I backslided and then never go to church and all that. And then after that, at her funeral, I actually prayed. La, I just say, you know, what am I going to do now that you're gone? You know? Mm. And then the, I think the last day before she trooping, right? Before her no. send off, right? It, it's just like a light bulb moment that says like, you know, you, you cannot turn back the clock, Irene. You know, you cannot undo what you already done. Well, what you can do is you just st start life anew. La. So that was when I made a promise to her that I'm going to change. I didn't make you proud when you're alive, but I'm going to make you proud from now on. Mm -hmm. And everything that I owe you, I'm going to pay it back a lot more to the world. La. And that was where, that was when I start to change my lifestyle, drop right. a lot of the friends, um, bear the grunt of people saying I change. When you start, making a decision and telling your God, whichever God you have, mm. that this is what you want, it, things will change. Yeah. You know? mm. I still remember my check was 52,000 something. Wow. How yeah. much I owe the bank? 26,000. It's double of, that's why I say can, can, yeah. can pay me first, okay. then I will do double. it. <laughs> so 26,000 <laughs> times two is 52,000. Yeah. Mm. It's so amazing that I get double what I needed, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Of course, I also, I also was very loyal to David, yeah. and 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 he eventually also became a silent partner of Fly lah, you know. Oh, yeah, right. that, yeah, he's he's really a a, a so mentor. You ten x, oh. you ten x ready lah. When got double him? Huh? No, no, no. <laughs> 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 but when you don't know the pain I go through. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my my granny is very important in my life because she really really like. Like she know that she needed to stay alive until that day for mm. me, you know? Yeah. And and then she hand over to David. Poor David. Sorry, Pa. <laughs> <laughs> Call David, Pa. <laughs> oh, that's so weird for David. <laughs> wow. no, is it, but he's the age to be your father? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I start calling John Pa. <laughs> 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 but I probably have the age to be your father. <laughs> Oh, you just call him daddy. <laughs> call me daddy. Yeah, no, it only because he is a father figure in the in the agency, and yeah. he's very compassionate and sympath empathetic. He he he's a very unusual agency leader, as in he collect all these strange people like us, like all very broken wings, mm. rebellious. Mm. Our agency is known to be the Peking agency mm. or the AG, uh, AG, uh, AG, AG. Uh, yeah, but now become quite trendy. Uh, people, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So now I go back. <laughs> one one uncanny thing was that. I I remember on the day that my grandfather mm. passed away, right? Mm. It was it was the doctor calling us. And by then mm. we quite chill really because yeah. the doctor called us and Ma tell many us, times, many ah, times. This is the one really. <laughs> then everybody chong. Then the first five time we chong, yeah, like yeah. the sixth time we are like, want eat breakfast yeah, first, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So and it was the eat breakfast first really. And we go there and I saw my they were doing that, mm. that thing yeah. of my grandfather. And he looked at me, uh. then that was the last pump. Mm. Wow. Yeah, and and wow. and I thought it was an interesting parallel yeah. in that I think there are many yeah. people that's going through certain points yeah. in life where they decided they need to reinvent, restart, yep. or they feel like nobody loves and care for them, or yep. 
doesn't matter if they are living I mean, or especially dead. when you grew up in a family background like mine, mm. I, I don't know about yours, like where your parents are never around yeah. and they make you feel unwanted and that nobody cares about you in this world except your your grandfather or your right. grandmother, right? And this person is leaving you. Yeah. I used to grow up, my biggest fear in life growing up was to lose my ama, I know. Yeah. I didn't turn bad only because I grew up being very careful not to do anything to hurt ama. Mm. You know, so many things I want mm. to do. I always think, you know, oh, this will upset Amma. Okay, cannot yeah. do, cannot do, cannot do. Yeah, la. yeah. Because, so, I mean, plus, of course, God, la, okay. Yeah. But of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but when you say that, like, now we are not sincere about God. God, 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 God. God not xiao qi one. We always yeah, yeah, think God yeah. is a certain type, you know. But actually, God is quite chill one. God can be up there also, okay? Yeah. yeah. Speaking of fly, like, um, I mean, now obviously, like, first of its kind, such a prestigious name, but like, back in the day, I'm curious, like, what was it like? How did you convince all these artists, right? Many of them were already established, right? Yeah. To leave mainstream management and join your little startup back then. Nobody wanted to join me. Mm. Even when it first started. Of mm. course, because there was Media Corp and then there's you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and David and their Goliath, okay. Yeah. Uh, and I was very thankful for this David and Goliath thing because um, even though I backslided, that's why I'm very thankful to God because mm. like somehow this story came to me and then I'm like, oh, so I still got hope. I just need the stone and yeah. the, the pebble yeah. and the sling, <laughs> the sling. you know. <laughs> huh? David and Goliath, are okay, you wondering? Huh? Yeah. David and Goliath. David and Goliath, yeah. yeah, yeah. Please read the Bible. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, chapter. <laughs> yes. I forgot which book. Huh? The movie. Okay. Yeah. The movie. <laughs> ah, watch the movie yeah. again. <laughs> no, 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 the so, Noah Ark one. So I, I keep explaining to people my intention was not to fight Mediacorp. Okay, mm. my intention was because Mediacorp don't want to sign me, I need to have a manager. Yeah. So I started by managing myself. La. I mean, I'm getting my friend to manage me. Mm, yeah. And then I realized. My other friends also need this service, mm. right? Then, of course, then I just do it for friendship first. I got Andrew the Cruz and all that, right? And then after that, realized that, eh, cannot, um, cannot survive, lah. Cannot survive for friendship, <laughs> and, 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 then, and then, then you realize, oh, I need to be a bit more professional. Then slowly, slowly learn to be professional. Slowly, slowly got more contract. Mm, yeah. But at the, at, at the start, it was not to be a competition for me because it was a, a solution to a problem I have. Right. Yeah. Like I, I, I remembered uh, going to um, music and movement to Lim Sek because I play mahjong with him, uh, <laughs> and Lim Sek was like the 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 like godfather of music, you know. Yeah. And, and 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 because I go friend with Cheng Man, and every and we every time after PCK and under one roof recording, we all two go to her house of some friend's house to play mahjong. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so Dolly and Rosie are real good friends. Yeah. <laughs> really good friends in real life. Okay, I, yeah, I call her Apong. She call me Apong right? because okay. we only two of us like every time. Pong, pong, pong. <laughs> Yeah. So one day I plucked the courage during Mahjong, I asked him the Mahjong break. I said, mm. hey, um, now, like my show quite good. Uh, um, what, what do you think? Uh, do, you, do, you, do you all sign um, actress? Because they are they, sign, they got mm. Dick Lee, Najib Ali, Tanya Chua, oh, uh, right. uh, Sandy Lam. Mm. Like, oh. I mean, of course I know it's not my league, right? Then I just asked lah. Don't life, ask, you don't never know. Try, never I, know. I, I like right, right. So I asked all. Then he said, yeah, we don't sign actors, eh, we only do musician. They start singing. <laughs> Yeah, 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 <laughs> then how? Then Set start my own. No. Right. Yeah. So there was no beef, no bad blood with media court and whatnot. No, until now still don't have right. Right. But actually, I, I, I always tell people, be the change you want to see is something that yeah. I hang on to very dearly because a lot of the young people, they when they are not successful or they cannot get what they want, they blame it on the system. Mm. They blame it on life. They blame it on the, because for me it's like it's don't waste time on thinking why. Why am I so putting? Why life like that? So oh, nobody wants to sign me. Ah. I know, I'll sign myself. Ah. Mm. Okay, move on already. <laughs> but for you, like when you first started, like, how do you even decide like how much to quote? Like, even? I don't know. So I um after I became famous, before I started Fly, uh, I remember uh, there was a movie that stars Tom Hanks and Mac Ryan. Uh, you got mail. <laughs> yes. Wow. Then I got invited to go and all they pay me was one year free movie to GV. Wow, okay. wait a bit. Then I think very start really. Yeah. 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 One huge teddy bear. <laughs> and some 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 value for the, some calling cards with Singtel. Okay. okay. So the whole value was like two, three thousand. I thought very start really. Yeah. 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 Then 
I found out that the media court artist, the other media court artist that was there, because I got no artist manager or right, yeah. got paid $2,000 ah, on top right. of all of this. Yes. Uh, yeah. I think it's cash, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then I'm like, how come they give me things that they don't pay me money? <laughs> 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 and that was like after PCA started, I think two, three years after we, we got famous yeah, already. Big yeah. Yeah. Then, and then after that, uh, because I'm, I, okay, on on my own interest, I like to host. I really, my favorite thing to do is actually hosting. So I, I host voluntarily for like, 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 like community stuff and, and, and like I said, uh, action for AIDS and, and stuff. Then, then I realized that, eh, I can charge more because I was charging $80, $50 for hosting. Eh. Oh. <laughs> then I, so I go and testing it one time at uh, $800. I got people buy like that. Oh, oh, I can charge $800 already. Yeah. Yeah, That's like, mom, you don't worry, you quit your job. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Then, but then it's very hard to tell people especially those who who are used to paying me $80 to say, hey, now can you pay me a bit more because now I star like. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, so it took a while. Even after years on, right, my manager, one day I go to office, to fly office, my flight manager said, wow, you got a lot of friends. Huh? Every time they come, they claim to be your friend. Then they say, last time they pay you uh, $80. <laughs> then I ask them, when was the last time you hired Irene? Then they say, oh, 10 years ago. Yeah. 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 But they both say that. Inflation 112 bucks now. It's my fault because I'm very friendly, right? I yeah. talk to anybody one, the anti clean toilet one, up to if you are minister or president, also I talk like that, the mm. same one, the mm. same, okay? Mm. Then you got you don't know where to draw the line. <laughs> what was the moment for you where you realized that like, eh, I famous, eh? <laughs> Cannot remember. Just like 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 the after the you've got mail, yeah, then yeah. like a lot of people come and find me, then oh this is serious shit, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, then I remember struggling a lot also because I had to spend so much time acting, right? And then uh, lesser time on my insurance because that time I was mm. I was double crossing each other. Uh, oh. uh, so and acting, uh, I guess, makes significantly less money, right? Much less. Yeah. Okay, I, okay. I actually that day also yes, I'm, I'm packing. It's like one episode is four hundred fifty dollars, eh? Mm. Oh. And it takes two weeks, eh? You can count. Oh. oh. Well, count, count, count. And then yeah. the first season we took six months. 13 apps times 450, how much? Not worth counting. Yeah, yeah. correct. <laughs> Divide by six months. I think I calculated before it's one month like $980 or something right. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And then so you famous ready. Mm. Cannot take bus, cannot take MRT. Mm. Right? You mean well, you so get expenses also go up. Yeah, right? Because you take the take expenses go up, yeah. but the, the, the income lower. Yeah. Yeah. Then I started to sell myself out as a host la, you mm, know, then mm. increase my salary for the host part yeah, and yeah. and then um uh try to juggle between the insurance and and, and acting law. Mm. Then when you go and meet client, then don't they see like Rosie? No, 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 no. <laughs> it, I was very thankful because in the beginning, the first few years when I grew up, people cannot tell right. it's when me. The hair is gone. Yeah, when the hair is huh? gone, the lashes is gone, the mm. fake nana is gone. Yeah. You know? Because oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm very different, right? Yeah, from yeah. Rosie. And until I open my mouth, you really can't yeah, tell. Yeah. Yeah. But it's the voice. <laughs> it's that voice. Ah. Yeah. Even during COVID, I wear masks. Ah. <laughs> what? I wear masks. Uh, auntie, I can't believe I can believe the part of one. Auntie, hey, you're Hong Ailing. Auntie, why do I wear masks? You don't understand. <laughs> then she's like, you just sending you think you don't know. Then I say, so so now then after that I know already. I go and buy auntie. Jaham. We are la. Why you wear the mask? They don't know. Yeah. But inside I'm laughing. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I was asked to train a, a, a batch of Wobby after I became Rosie. Oh. Yeah, because they didn't allow me to Wobby anymore. Yeah. yeah. Was Rosie a character that was given to you? Or did you create Rosie? Rosie, I inherited from Gamit's world, right? Mm. Uh, the role Rosie, uh, the original Rosie is skinny mm. and, and she was a, a writer also inside. Um, I I created my own Rosie. Um, mm. In the beginning, it was, was, uh, was quite hard because I was still trying to grapple with so, grapple with so many things, right? Mm. The memorizing and then the backside facing the camera. They didn't know that the, I cannot face my backside through a camera. <laughs> they then they got three camera. Then don't know the red one is the one taking. Like, yeah. like I say how I know, right? Then I talking to this one, but actually it's this one taking me. Yeah. Then you are looking there, then I'm like, huh? What you <laughs> so super unprofessional, la, but I want to thank the studio one cameraman, uh, Uncle Liu and all that, right? Right. <laughs> Ahmad or they were very nice. Every time they lunch with hey, Rosie, 
I tell you ah, <laughs> you must like from the side eyes. You must glance ah. The light is there one mm. ah. You know you can practice later. Ah. Yeah, after dinner <laughs> yeah, we yeah. practice ah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they really train me. <clears throat> and then can you please be mindful because the camera is all here. Ah. Yeah. You don't backside face us until you unless you are going up bopian ah. Yeah. You know. Mm. Then I got Andrea teaching me how to be very feminine. <laughs> and then I, I, I actually asked, I, even, I think I even asked Kuma because when I was in action for it, uh, we we did a, a lot of shows at Boom Boom Room, right? Yeah. I even asked Kuma how how she, he walks, like, hey, how to get it? Yeah, I never get it in my life. <laughs> I walk like man, you know. <laughs> oh, I want a polo yeah, yeah. player fencer. I said, yeah. you know, they, they, you must cross the. You know, so they, so I, I went to my drag friends, so asking them. So Rosie was formatted. <laughs> By drag queens. Wow. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So thank you, drag queens. Then the other thing is the aso part. After I a few episodes already, I actually um, realized that I don't. I'm just acting, and I don't like it. Mm. I don't understand acting. I don't like it. So I. I went to OG People's Park, the outside the People's Park <laughs> yeah, uh, oh yeah. hawker center. Sit there and look at all the aunties. Like listen to them talk and watch them. Mm. You know that oh. And then the third thing is, I model after my mom's elder sister. The kind like I just care a lot about family, but every time talk I offend everybody. One, <laughs> but actually, should never. You know, do you, everyone has everyone an auntie. Everyone has an auntie, <laughs> everyone has an auntie right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like she meant well. Like for example, <laughs> you come to the house, she want to you to eat, but instead of saying, "Hey, um, I cook this," you know, like enjoy, she was like, "You're so skinny, you better eat." They mean well, but they always have to say something yeah, back yeah, yeah, together yeah, 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 with the yeah, goodness. Yeah. And, if you don't know who is you. <laughs> <laughs> so so slowly, slowly, I I I I, I make Rosie my. My version of Rosé because Gamit was the same person, ma. Yeah. PCK was him, him, ma. Mm. Mine is somebody one. So when I got the job, it was like the most hardest thing to do in the world, lah. Wow, because ah, I two page I cannot memorize. Right, remember I written them the script and said uh. cannot. Then I have to do the improv. Then they send. They asked me to go and collect the script, ma. It's a book, leh. <laughs> <laughs> If you watch the reunion, like Suilin said, everybody doing script, right? Then. They go say, "Oh, your line, my line." Then I'm like, "Hey, whose turn is it, lah?" Then they will laugh at me, and then they will laugh at me at things that I don't know because to me it's so natural, right? Mm. So I'm very thankful when Pierre came because now so they no, no, <laughs> now got new beat, they got new bird already. Oh. Then the, oh. the, the attention shifted to Pierre. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. By then, I third year already, I lauchia already. <laughs> Thank you, Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> and then very fun to disturb him. Yeah. We always disturb him. Why? You, how you disturb like him? Okay, so you, this is a secret. Um, <laughs> you know, Rosie got like the 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 fake breast, like, uh, like like a lot of padding, yeah. like eight layers of padding, and then like super tight pants. He's he's very very scared of the bra touching him. But there's like <laughs> eight, eight layers of bra. So so during rehearsal, nothing because I haven't wear yet, right? Yeah. But actually, the, the 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 area behind the sofa that we come in and out to the uh, house and go upstairs, uh, one, yeah. it's actually very tight. Right. So can only cross one person each time. Uh, okay, okay. So when there's something happening at the door, or I'm coming back from the door and he's coming from the kitchen, where we have to meet, right? Or, or then Chu come down from the steps. Then I want to go to Chu. My my bra will touch yeah. his back. Then yeah. you, <laughs> you see, <laughs> what a child! <laughs> <laughs> But you're very young, lah, right? No, no. So until now, even <laughs> we 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 do some appearance or whatever, I would purposely go to him and throw. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Rosie, <laughs> don't uh, no, no, no. <laughs> His hand was dead. He's very scared. <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, so he's very nice to bully. <laughs> uh, so I will love Pierre because he's so handsome. Yeah, he's <laughs> so handsome. Yeah, he's so handsome. Yeah, he so handsome. <laughs> so irritating. Can I ask right when you found out that Gamit is Portugal, what was that first meeting like? Because it, like you said, you knew him from back in school, ma. It's quite scary, lah. Imagine, I cannot memorize. Okay. I'm nothing like Rosie. Like I'm so tomboyish. Then mm. I'm not. I'm not even sexy at all. But this character is sexy. There's so many things to worry. On top of that, you walk into the room, huh? I do act with things, sir. Mm. You know that's like the. Like, you saw NPCC scene. Yeah, my NPCC scene. <laughs> <Singsa. laughs> uh, yeah, call him Singsa. No, you cannot keep the heavy one. I yeah, understand because yeah, I was yeah, also NPCC. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was Plus, he surprised? I think yeah, we were equally surprised. But of course, there's no pressure on him. Uh. He always get to bully me. Uh. Gamit probably ca cannot remember, but 
he there's two things in my NPCC days uh, that made me so scared of him because I am a timer timer I'm timer uh, that's why I became a commander also then our school is on a hill top York Hill then we have to shout uh, until got echo if not cannot go home <laughs> but I from like 8 o'clock shout until uh, 12 o'clock squat study yeah then if the yeah 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 never come back I will come back. <laughs> Really, one you ask him? <laughs> wow. he, he said this one no last time. Yeah. <laughs> so so actually, you don't like him, lah. I don't don't like him. <laughs> the best part of it is to be able to score him, pull his ears, slap mm. his oh. back. Wow, very shook. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so when the director Rosie came out for a second. <laughs> when, when, when the director said, uh, okay, okay, so you're gonna walk there, you're gonna pull his ear, you know. Like Colin, right? Oh, I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, all right, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, no. The Rosie, right? The character, right? Do you keep anything? Of course. The, from the, you have the whole outfit? I have three sets of Rosie outfit. Oh, wow. How come Patrick only got one? <laughs> yeah, I tell you why, because, <laughs> because his thing very easy to buy. Yeah, that's what I think of. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think of. 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 Yeah, that's what I think he changed from one shirt to the other shirt. You don't know the difference. <laughs> because this one is light grey stripe. Yeah. Uh, this one is light blue stripe. Uh, this one is light beige stripe. Which they all look the same. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine is very distinct one. The mm. orange with the leopard print one. Yeah. And then the multicolor one. The, the palette the of flower, the... Uh. Yeah, then the, the flower. Mine is very obvious. I cannot see one. Yeah. He, he sometimes... He, he never changed, I'm very sure. <laughs> uh, the director won't even know the difference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then his boots is the same. Yeah. So he take what? So for me, for me, I got the stay at home, uh, at home yeah, clothes. Yeah. Uh, I got the go out clothes. Mm. I got the last time can wear now, cannot wear clothes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I have, and I also, at the, after the movie, I knew that we had to do promotion in Singapore and Malaysia. Mm. And I knew that uh, after PCK closed, the, some of the costumes are returned or destroyed or whatever. So I was very scared and I, I really think that there might be need for me to be rosy again, even after we close, mm. especially in Malaysia. So I actually bought two sets from the movie. Oh. Uh, those are not PCK, the TV shows one. Yeah. But the, the, the stylist from the movie did a good job. Okay. And, and she sort of had kept the essence of rosy, but updated it to be more modernized yeah. Rosie, but the essence was completely there, mm. you know? And and also to be fair to the middle court wardrobe is because a lot of the clothes are 20 years, 10 years, it's frilling mm. and, and, and the condition was not good. Mm. Yeah, so they had to throw some of them away. Mm. But it's just folded like, somewhere in the cupboard or it's like on the No, 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 it's, like it's we meet kit. everywhere I go, yeah. It's okay now. <laughs> it's <not a> luggage <laughs> now. <laughs> no, 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 no. As in everywhere I move, like, when I move right. house, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Wow. So it's always there. Plus her earring and her rings, her rings I, I, I bought from the movie. I also bought when I travel because I'm Rosie Ma. So sometimes I tra sometimes I do shop for Rosie, you know. Like wow. recently I bought for the vaccine, I bought new shoes for Rosie. Oh. Yeah. Because my ad starts because now fashion change. Oh. Right. Right. As Rosie is right. very fashion yeah, conscious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I also bought clothes for Rosie. <laughs> I literally do buy right. and shop for Rosie one. So occasionally you at home alone you just No put it on. <laughs> yeah, you know. I like even live stream as Rosie, I think everybody lose their mind. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's true. But cannot because they only Rosie right. sells yeah, to well. Yeah. No, you just wear the clothes, but you don't say you're Rosie. Oh, can yeah, and then the, the, cannot, cannot. I, I cannot do that to Rosie. Uh, like, okay. like I have a lot of respect yeah. for her. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> When you started Fly, right, did you ever imagine that one of your talents or some of your talents would be in a Hollywood movie? Nope. Ever. This was Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah. Um, but I remember my mentor, David, telling me, I said, okay, um, I'm going to start this. I'm going to leave uh, insurance. I mean, I already started acting, right? And I would like to have a blessing. He turned to me and he said, I always talk to you about passion. So this is passion, no? Mm. When you want to change something and you eat, sleep, breathe that thing, that's passion, no? Mm -hmm. You know? Everything else is responsibility to you. You're responsible to your ma, you're responsible to your mother, you're responsible to But I can see you wanting, first time you're telling me you want thing to do something and I can see the spark in your eyes. That's passion, no? He said, you should go and do it. Then I said, what if I fail? 
They say, oh, you feel they come back to insurance, law. Oh, <laughs> mm. So it's very important for for us to know that we have something to fall back on, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, number one, number two is not only that he. Uh, then I told him, say, okay, how long you give me? <laughs> he said, you cannot quit, nah. In the first three <laughs> years, no matter how difficult you want to do, I let you go. You first three years, no matter how you cannot quit, mm. no matter how difficult. Because otherwise you wouldn't know. Yeah. Starting got two thousand dollar in my bank. I started. Oh, yeah. Wow. I started and then uh, he just guide me and, uh, and, and etc. La. I said then if let's say past these three years, then what should my goal be? Then he said. Uh, then that's this is my first business, right? Uh, he said, oh, uh, think of the most ridiculous dream in this industry. I said to win an Oscar, to have artists that win an Oscar. Then he said, okay lah. So you don't quit until somebody win an Oscar lah. Mm. From 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 Singapore or from your agency or whatever lah. So I I I just keep going. So so every time you want to quit that time, then you think, oh, I haven't got the Oscar person. I haven't got the Hollywood person. You know. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Like, I remember reading a Instagram post where you said you had to bring a lug you had lug baggage of VH VHS tapes to New York to meet casting directors of all your New uh, York and oh. LA and San Francisco. So oh. you're really just knocking on doors saying, can you watch this? Yeah artist? yeah. So you bring the luggage you put in. Then the motivation is clear. All then you can buy things okay, oh. sure. yeah. <laughs> okay yeah, yeah. so you actually uh, uh, I, I'm going to buy this book and then uh, uh, ask my friend to uh, go to send me the, the directory of casting directors send from US to me mm. then I go and flip 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 and find the LA and then after yeah. that I start to call them and then those who answer so that I found after making a few phone calls overseas calls and spending a lot of money I, I barely get any appointment but I already booked my trip Yeah. So what I do is, <laughs> <laughs> luckily I got my insurance sales uh, yeah, about yeah. cold call. Uh. <laughs> so I tell myself, so I tell my, my insurance taught me how to cold call. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so cold call, call fail. Okay, then my anyway book ready. Have to go. So first stop was San Francisco first. Yeah, then like got Excel spreadsheet right. Then got the name of the casting director's name or this. Then after that. Uh, make appointment, oh. make yeah. appointment. So I, uh, I, I still had that sheet. There's that when we're moving house. I, I just saw this. I wanted to throw away. I was like, ah, oh, this is like so humbling. So yeah, like yeah. beginning of time. <laughs> so so beginning of time. Uh, yeah. Is there any advice you have for people to, at this point in life, they feel like they need to bounce back. They need to restart. I feel like the world don't care, but I need to keep living. There's, there's several times in my life that I think that life is not worth living. And I'm sure some of you watching would be at this like every day I'm repeating this thing. It, it, it could even be someone normal who's doing well in his career. Mm. And he's like, why I keep fighting for this career? Then I keep doing this social climbing or this uh, yeah. corporate climbing for what? And I think in my life, what I did after my ama passed away was to find my place and my reason uh, for being alive. Mm. You know, since dying is so difficult, and and God 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 knows that I try and I I think I don't have the guts. I'm, and so since you have to leave, you might as well make the best out of it, mm. right? So when you make the best out of it, is you have to find your purpose in life, mm. and the purpose is not easy to find. And uh, one trick is someone taught me this, and is what are you good at? If you're good at something, continue doing that. Mm. And during my worstest moment, worstest, and my English is jala. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> But during my worst moments, is I would ask myself, like, what do I have to lose? If you are given a chance to live, and there are people there, don't be an asshole. There are people there, like struggling for their last breath, wanting to leave, waiting for their son to fly back or something mm. like that. There are people at this kind of juncture uh, mm. in their life, as we are speaking now. Mm. And you want to throw away your life. Mm. I grow with every setbacks, mm. and I just become stronger. It's not that I become cleverer. I still want to pass my A level at some point. Oh, <laughs> at some point. They chose out the textbook already. Ah, uh. <laughs> 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 you need to pass the study. I don't think it's applicable. She uh. dusted off after yeah. she go to the. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I it's not because I need that A level, for example, yeah. or going mm. back to fencing. It's because it makes me happy, yeah. and it's a fulfillment thing. Yeah. So. If I have to advise young people, is you cannot do everything based on money, because mm. money can be the best thing and can be the best evil. Mm. 
Mm. Invest in yourself. I think that's the best. And my staff will tell you I'm like a child when I'll ask all kinds of questions, anything trending I want to know, I want to try. I even tried to sell durian at TikTok, you know, like last year. Yeah, and then sure. people are like, hey, you're really desperate. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> 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 no, because I think that is as the boss of fly, if I don't do it, yeah. if I don't try, I cannot tell the artist to try or don't try. Yeah, yeah, Fair, yeah. Enough. Right? Fair enough. When you meet a crisis, right, it is an opportunity for you mm. to change, to pivot, to even be successful. Mm. If you don't look at it as a, wow, I so sway, uh, wow, like who, who, or what to go and like, which hunt first, like whose fault yeah. is it? Uh? Yeah. Instead of that, right, you can think, now got this problem. Mm, what is the opportunity? I Can I learn something from it? You know, mm. does this make me stronger? Oh, is there opportunity that I can make business out of it? Oh, can I, mm. can I, use this, I even had one, I use this opportunity to reconcile my relationship with my mom, for example. Mm. Right, the OGS thing, yeah. right? Yeah. It, it, it's, it's like that, no? But if I were like, huh, why should I do this, you know? Uh, the, mm. this, it's so awkward to, to to talk to her. Instead, I just look at it as an opportunity that like maybe I want to hear what she really have to say because she yeah. will never say it to me. Yeah. Mm. Right? But at an interview, she say it to a stranger and then I'm somewhere else. Mm. Then maybe she might say, but she don't know that they play really also I can hear. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. she's not media trained. Yeah. You think by now she knows a few, few thousand people see? She don't know, no. She, she thought she, it's a live stream. Oh. <laughs> she, she, she don't know, no. She asked me the other day, last just last week, I, I, I was hosting the Singapore Expo uh, at event there. Then she stays in me. I said, hey, mommy, I'm going to have fun. Then she, I'm going to have fun. My friend gave me a then I go to her house. Then she say, "Any kind of video you may ring kinda." Then you watch the video. Yeah, mm. yeah. Then I say, "Yeah, uh, you want to ring kinda." Then she, "Ah, oh, 对对对，我有一些朋友哈有打来说他们有看到。”几个人看他？我说啊，呃，两百多了。两百多个人呐。Yeah, yeah. Then she say, "Oh, 两百多个人呐。哇，为什么我的？”我的教会的姐妹有看到啊，哇、oh, ，my my 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 friends and my colleagues got see， 呃 ，my friends got see， 大家 see， 呃呃，妈咪啊，不不是两百多个，是两百多千。<笑><笑>为什么这样多人看的不要啦？林先生，怎么办？怎么办？林先生，林先生 ，start to be very， 哎呀，哎呀，都已经做了，好算了。<笑> you know， do you think your relationship with your mom improved since the video？ 哇。Since the video, I've only seen her twice. Mm, I, I, I think so. I think slightly. Oh, because uh, you said you were kind of hoping that she would say, say something on yeah. the, on the interview, right? So when you got to see the interview and see her POV or hear what she had to say, was there any that anything that stuck out to you? Or you wish she said? I think that stuck out part is her kind of in a way admitting that. She's wrong, but still she will not say the, yeah. Yeah, like it's, it's not a direct type yeah. thing, but okay lah, it's improvement lah. Yeah. So I was thinking yeah. to myself, it's, form of the yeah, it's really like Laurentia yeah. type of like, uh, instead of telling you sorry, like, uh, John, uh, uh, <laughs> John, what's this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it lah. That's it's the best you're going to get lah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 it's better than that thing lah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if, I'm, if I'm assuming basically, relationship wise in execution it kind of stays the same but mentally you feel more at peace with her in the relationship I, I've learned I've learned that forgiveness is actually yourself you know yeah. it's a decision you have to make and and forgiving actually really really is important for yourself because mm. I've my whole life I carry so much anger and mm. baggage, you know, and, and it's just so tiring, you know. Yeah. My shoulders are, every time going, I'm more, they say one little pay, huh, and ink, ah. What about my shoulder? Yeah, the stiff neck, yeah. So yeah. now that I'm older, I'm trying to let go, you know. Mm. I, I find that um, a, a certain part of my life, right, I learn how to, uh, okay, in, in my formative year before 30, I was trying to find out who I am and mm. what I'm good at and career wise. Then 30 to 40 is trying to build my fly, mm. you know. Then 40 to 50, trying to see how I can give back. So give and give very tired. Mm. And then sometimes regret, sometimes angry, sometimes disappointed with people I help. Yeah. Then now 50 to 60, I think is learning to de junk, mm. you know, like let go of the junks in my life and right. the baggage and and really spend more time back to myself, pay more attention to myself because I think yeah. the last 30 years I've spent time on everybody else but myself. Mm. Right. Yeah. So I, I, I hope I can do that. Lah. 
Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. What yeah. does that look like for you? To be honest, between 50 to now, right? I don't know what else new I can do, you know. Mm. So I'm actually very thankful now got TikTok, Instagram, and I feel so rejuvenated to be learning new things, you know. Right, mm. right, right. So you will come to a point where you feel like, hey, what's the point? Uh, I know everything. I'm, I'm the top podcast in Singapore. What else can I do? But you must not stop finding new things to excite you. And it may not be podcast. It may not even be related. Mm, you know, like, fans. yeah, I would only fans. <laughs> That's when the butt can face the camera. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, one, that one, Mr. Liu will tell you, ah, uh, this one, the backside must face me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uncle Liu. Uh, okay, <laughs> Uncle Liu. <laughs> All right, guys. So before we end, it's time for painting of the episode. If John Paul can help me uh, retrieve the painting for today, it is painted by uh, an artist named Christina Lau. And uh, I think what's very really interesting is that that uh, her piece is called Little India and it captures the essence and the vibrance of Little India. Her story is that she used to be a prison officer uh. and then she had a vehicular accident which left her paralyzed. Oh shit! Okay. But because she always likes to view things with like glass half full rather than empty, yeah. uh, she found mouth painting. And not just that, because she's such a positive person, uh, she also went and represented Singapore in table tennis in the Paralympic Games. What? Yeah. Wait, yeah. didn't somebody else do that as well? Aaron. Aaron, Aaron, yeah. But this Sick. Is, yeah, ASEAN Parallel Games. So if you'd like to check out her art or any of the other art from all the participating artists in Shaping Hearts, you can join us at our Tampanese Hub on the 19th of October. 19, correct? Correct. We will also be there. Let's go and have some fun, celebrate this, maybe buy a piece of art. Exactly. We'll see you there. So we've come to the end yeah. of today's episode. Of course, a big thank you to Irene for joining thank us you. today thank and you. Thank being you. so vulnerable and open with us. Yeah. Comment down below if you would like to see more, who you would like to see on our next episode. Mm. Like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. I've actually met you before. Are you my friend? <laughs> <laughs> no, so, maybe, can we try your phone? You no, no, so, so you were the first celebrity that I ever met in my life. Oh. Yeah. So, oh. so what happened was I, I just joined the media industry and I was an intern at my mm. previous company, a smart local. Mm. And then I I did some media trips and I made friends with somebody who knew you. Mm. So then we- Who was actually friends with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my real friend. My like, friend. So, like, yeah. <laughs> so then he ended up bringing us to your bar. Oh, I think at Club Street. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then I like, like we like quite excited, like, will, will she be there now? We get to see her now. <laughs> then you you came to the table and then you were just like extremely humble, very friendly, and very warm mm-hmm. to everybody. Then mm-hmm. I don't know, I like I don't know I don't know that I think Rosie's here. Yeah? <laughs> 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 like, okay, but don't look like Rosie, don't sound like Rosie. Yeah. 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 Then, then, then you still like bring I think your your mom or something got zi cha nearby. Eh? Mm. Then you bring zi cha and let's eat at your mom. We are a bit confused. <laughs> <laughs> but very nice. Yeah. I think really friend. Eh? I think no, I'm so, really friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So opposite my bar, the rooftop is my bistro. Uh, uh, my mom works there. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay, that time, okay. but now she is no, no longer working there. So yeah, so I have fried bistro and bar naked. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. So, so uh, sometimes like got extra food or they are, they want me to try out certain like new dishes. Uh, then, then I'm downstairs because now that one is rooftop, uh, fourth floor lah. Uh, huh? I open the bar, then I'm think lah. Uh, think the rooftop <laughs> very sexy lah. Uh, can see sunset all lah. Uh, then watch a lot of Wong Kar Wai movie. Always got a lot of rooftop. Oh, yeah, the Tony yeah, Leung yeah, down yeah, there, right? Correct. Yeah, but actually not really stick. Every time I must climb fourth floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I always ask them to bring the food down for me. <laughs> yeah, but 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 uh, a, 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 a message to all. All the patron, it's very nice view. Uh. Please go upstairs. <laughs> but for those of you who are of a certain age, uh, uh, just stay downstairs with me. Uh. <laughs> okay. Also can, also Good can. No judgment, no, no judgment, no judgment. Oh, no.